Okay guys, let's go ahead, let's take a look at this data and see what this load cell's doing. So I ran four engines total so far. So I ran the first 206 with the 219, cha the 219 chain. I definitely knew better before I did that. That was a mistake. And then after round three, I came home with three more engines that that needed some service that I've also ran on the dyno. So we'll go ahead. We're going to look at the Briggs engine that I came home with after round three. So let's go ahead and open this test up. And let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the horsepower and torque with the old pressure sensor. So horsepower, torque. Go ahead and zoom in here. So with the pressure sensor, we saw 8.8 .8 horsepower and 10.92 foot-pounds of torque. And that was with the old pressure sensor that I was running before. And, you know, let's take a look at that. Here's the pressure sensor down here. So let's go ahead and pull these off and let's take a look at the load cell. So here's the reading from the load cell. Looks like the max reading was 3198 millivolts. And just looking at that, that's that seems too high. This is a a, a 5 volt sensor, so 3100 millivolts, that's like 60% of the the total output of that sensor so that's god oh, what 30 pounds so that's definitely too high you know let's let's add some math channels and see if we can get a better look at that so go to modify math channels let's go ahead and add a new one here let's call it load cell come down here and we'll find our sensor so it's a 5,000 millivolt sensor supposedly it's a 20 kilo sensor so if we divide our output reading by 250 that should tell us how many kilos and then if we times our kilos by let's see 2.2 .2, that should give us our foot pounds Let's see so according to the load cell we saw 28 foot pounds which is way too high so I've definitely got something going on with this sensor. I'm not sure if maybe I have it wired incorrectly because that's, that's extremely high reading. And you know, there is a ton of vibrations that I, that I noticed while I was running the engine. So I'm going to have to figure out something to get that sorted out. But I'm, I'm just not sure if that would cause that reading to be so high. I'm definitely going to have to do some troubleshooting. But that's... 28 foot pounds. Let's let's turn that into horsepower. Let's see what that would be in horsepower. So to get horsepower from torque, we're going to want to take the reading from the load cell. We're going to times that by our RPM. And then we're going to divide that by 5252. And that should be the formula to get our horsepower. Let's see what that does. Let me 
to name it. Let's go. Load cell horsepower. This one. Yeah, 23 horsepower. So that's definitely too much for a Briggs, I'm thinking. So I've got something going on with this sensor that I'm going to need to get sorted out. Not sure what. So yeah, I'm not sure why that reading is so high. I'll definitely have to do some troubleshooting to get that figured out. But um, yeah, this is what I've got so far, guys. All right, guys, so I got some homework to do. First thing I'm gonna do is try to actually confirm that that is a 20 kg load cell. It's a tension and a compression load cell, so what I'm gonna do is maybe just rewire it and hang 40 pounds off of it and see what the readings are. I mean, as far as instructions go, guys, this is essentially all I got. This came with the load cell, and I don't think that the converter box came with any instructions. So I'm just gonna have to play with it, switch the wiring around, see what I can come up with. But I'm gonna switch it over to, ten uh, yeah, to yeah, to tension, and then hang 40 pounds, 44 pounds off of it and just make sure that this is actually a 20 kg load cell uh, before I go any further. So that's where I'm gonna start guys. And in addition to that, a subscriber actually reached out and he's gonna build us a torque arm for the dyno. He's gonna machine it up so it's gonna be nice and professional. There's a ton of vibrations going on with the one I've got on there so I'm sure that's not helping the readings. So once I get that, fingers crossed that that deal goes through, and I can get that uh, load cell arm. And uh, once we get that, we'll do a little more testing on the dyno just to make sure everything's good to go. But I appreciate you guys for watching. Plan your race, race your plan. Have a good time at the track.